the semifinals of the College World Series last season, the Texas A&M Aggies have their eyes on a championship in 2023. 12th Man Productions and the SEC Network are covering their journey all season. And tonight, we're giving you an exclusive look beyond the action and behind the scenes at how 12th Man Productions brings you the game. And this talented lineup includes A&M students at nearly every position. Ready for it? We're pulling back the curtain of a live television production and showing you what it takes to put on a successful ESPN SEC Network broadcast. And it starts right now. One and welcome us in. Well, that, folks, is what we call a tease, and it's your first lesson tonight. And there are plenty more to come, so get out your pen and paper. At Olsen Field at Bluebell Park, we have the Houston Christian Huskies and the Texas A&M Aggies. We, the broadcast crew, and much of our cameras are at Bluebell Park, but most of our production crew is across the street at Kyle Field inside 12 Man Productions. And now we welcome you to the broadcast booth. A lot to learn tonight, Boomer, with this behind-the-scenes broadcast of HCU and A&M, as it is Will Johnson and Boomer White, but a lot of fun to have on this one too. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be unique and I got a good look over at our production studio before the game before I came over here and I learned a lot being there and I know I'm going to learn more dealing with them and working with them tonight and seeing all the things that go behind the scenes. So it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a beautiful night but we're also going to learn a lot about what actually goes into this kind of a broadcast. So it should be good. All right, we'll talk a little baseball but we're also going to talk a little television productions and here is a little bit of what you will see tonight producer and director helping lead this broadcast. You'll see where all of our cameras are behind the lens around here at Bluebell Park. Technical directing and the art of the replay. Graphics can also help tell the story. You'll find out how tonight. Sounds of the game and we'll even pay a visit to those running the video board, the big screen here at Bluebell Park during this one. If you have questions, tweet them to us at 12th Man P. We'll try to answer what we can as we go behind the scenes of HCU and a and Well, down on Olsen Field, the Aggies have sent their starter to the mound, and it's Wyatt Tucker. Wyatt Tucker, the big junior, getting his second start of the year. As Austin Bose comes to the plate, we'll go in-depth with our director, Thomas Burns. Main responsibility is to lead our camera operators tonight to document the game and explain. And baseball is one of the hardest sports to direct. There's five manned cameras here tonight. But the broadcast will also share the resources of the big screen show, where there's two wireless cameras as well. We'll have more on the big screen later. There's also eight POV or points of view cameras that can be tapped into by our director, such as the dugout cam, they're in the bullpens, scenic cameras that are all the way on top of Kyle Field and shoot across the street into Bluebell Park. Swinging and a miss by Austin Boast. Thomas, our director, meets with the camera operators two hours before the broadcast. That's their meeting alone, the camera meeting. That's where they go through assignments. Thomas is calling them out right now. That's hit hard and foul. Boast with an 0-2 count. Let's open up Thomas's mic, see what he's up to right now. Go ahead and advance. Ready for a bug. Take for a bug. Head to toe, Cassie. You're going to score runners on a hit. Ready to. Oh. oh. Ready two, take two. Change the eye levels on Bose there. Lose the bug, Jade. Curveball, 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 high heater. Ready five, take five. Yeah. Ready four, take four. T burns. T burn. Ready two, take two. It's drilled to left. That's going to play five. a few more Aggies. Take five. Two Ready two, home. take two. And they will hold. Ready five. Lavalette at third base. Ready one, take one. 
Ready three, take three. Austin Bose, the guy's hitting under 100, and he's the 12th man. Ready, two, he needs a ready four, take four. Ready replay X. And he was and fired up backs. to finally roll get X. that done. You can see the fourth set hanging blue. curve ball this at bat. And Tattooed roll blue one is all foul. Blue. Keeps that Runner on second fire, set red. And he needed that. Roll red is all red track. Let me get to the base here, Flowers. He gets on second base after this double and just kind of takes a second set to blue and roll blue is all blue. As he was set quite X. fired up to. And Rolex is all vexed. Finally have a Ready, quick out to four. on this offense. There you go. There's and the shot. And out to four. Very fired up. Aggies rolling in the first inning. Three are Ready. home. Ready Ryan two. Ryan Targach at the plate. Argo has it. Ready one. Something I learned when I was walking two, back there to the control room today or the, the production office was you want it? I, 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 I have things on my mind Animate. that I want to talk about and I want to show the crowd, show everyone, at, four, sh show clean. the fans at home uh, what we're seeing here, but I don't give Take our four, cameras clean. anticipation about you know how to be ready for when ready I talk two. about that. And so, you know, Sky if I Targach. think I'm going to talk about something ahead of ready time, one. Like I can only... Take one. Key font one. Help us by saying, hey, Animate. I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about that. And they can be ready, and that can Go be ahead. better for the viewer. Ready for so clean. Gonna, you know, something I'm going to work on is called my talk back button. Take four clean. I'm, I'm muted, and I'm, I'm talking to our production crew Do so I need the they bug can now? try and okay. you know, move with me. We'll show you an in-depth look at that a little Take later two. on in our broadcast. It is interesting, though. I talked ready to my three. buddies about Take just like, what it's like calling a game and they have no idea that we're just hearing things in our ears all the time. They're like, how? That's a thing? Like <laughs> you, you're talking runner, to other people? Potentially two runners on a hit, cast. Like, yeah, I guess so. Didn't really think about it. Ready two. Take two. Playable for Reed Chumley. Now it may not be because he's lost oh. it. Ready five. And that landed Take five. way behind him and in front of Damian Ruiz. Third baseman, Connor. Trouble on Ready defense. Three. And a fourth Take three. run is home in the form of Lavalette. Ready, one, take one. The sky Chumley, flower, Connor. Rocca Forte, Ruiz, they all lost the ball. Ready, three. Call that take a high three, sky down. sometimes, or you just call it, you know, I can't see anything. If, if you can recognize that that color of the ball can blend Third in with the flowers. color of that sky. Ready, two, and take two. Sometimes you don't really know that you can't see the ball ahead of time, but sometimes if you do, you got to be communicating that so that other guys are there to try and go track Ready, the ball down. Strength. And all three of them Ready, totally four. lost the ball. Take four. Aggies continue to roll on this Tuesday night. Bose to left. The 12th man will have him standing tall in the seats. There's the grand slam our producer Alyssa was calling for. You were on the right track just an inning too early. Touch them all and clear them all. Austin Stand by. Bose. Stand by X. We'll go X, side swing blue, full speed red. Look at Alyssa X. getting to work Replay back X. there and Bost Replay. doing his dance. X. Excited to be back Blue's on track next. is Austin Bost. Just tease off on that sinker left up. You can see that Red's view right next, there. Tracking red, Pull full sides, speed. a dangerous place to pitch Bost. Three and knocks got him. on the day Ooh, I, for the 12th Why? Man. Why? Replay why? Do we have bench? He's going to get back why? on track in a hurry this game. Or do we have dugout? Dug Ooh, I like blue. Roll back blue. Blue. We're going to see blue box. here. Wow. Great, guys. Good job. There we go. Very nice. Well done, Alyssa. Very nice. That was cool to see. She's looking at different shots, different slow-mos that these cameras are getting, maybe angles of the crowd, angles of the teammates in the dugout. So she's making that call for us to give you all the the best view of actually what's going on. We can see from we are, we can see everything and you can't always do that from your couch, but so exciting. Has not been all that difficult on the Aggies this evening. They have a 20 to nothing lead on Houston Christian. We're going to the fifth and let's discuss the sounds of the game as we are behind the scenes on this broadcast. This is Riley, our A1, and she is basically the DJ behind this broadcast controlling all of the audio you hear throughout the show. 
On our audio board, there is a total of 192 inputs and 56 outputs that can be programmed and 32 faders. There's eight microphones around the field tonight. One on each dugout, two parabolic mics pointed at home plate, and four microphones mounted on our cameras. Riley is keeping up with all of that. And she is also queuing up the music tonight. Perhaps we'll get her to play a little tune after, how about after this pitch? Do you have anything for us, Riley? Something you can queue up? Look at that. It's a nice little head to break tune. There you go, keep it going. <laughs> Stop. It, does, it is funny how, how it totally changes the vibe of the moment. You hear that music and you're like, oh, must be heading to a break or coming in from a break or something's going on. You don't just, I guess you go to a basketball game, you hear some tunes sometimes. Not at a baseball game. Connor Freeman is the pinch hitter. So Riley is essentially our DJ tonight. And that's a walk. Well, that's a stroll to first base, but Riley, uh, can you change the vibe on us? Uh, can you can you go a little upbeat? Don't do that walking music. What do you what do you got upbeat for us? <laughs> that's good stuff. That'll work just fine. Well, you just heard. Uh, Last inning, our producer, uh, Alyssa Killebrew, and one way producers tell stories is through replay on these broadcasts. 12th Man Productions uses dream catchers for their replay machines, and the operators tonight are Kincaid, Sebastian, and Cole. They work closely with Alyssa to give the viewers the best angles of the action as quickly as possible. Typically, a producer wants to show you the how behind a previous play. How did they hit that pitch? Why did that ball have so much movement on it? Things like that. In baseball, multiple angles are used to show the entire play. But in a replay review, you try to show the definitive look first, and then the best looking shots are after that. It's all subjective and up to the producer. And running replays tonight, Kincaid, Sebastian, and Cole. Tonight we have two cameras, three and four, that are shooting at a high frame rate allowing us to give you really smooth, slow motion replay. Just like you see there, Ryan Targotch rounding first base. A&M's been rounding a plenty tonight. They have an 11 to nothing lead heading into the middle innings. Justin Lampkin giving the ball here. And we have a question from Cheyenne Cash. What's everyone's game day snack of choice? We saw Pringles in our control room. We'll see if our... They're stacking them. Our As it field. says, the party stack. Was our center field camera. Is Lydia Frank. eating all of those? Is she sharing? That's out of play. See if Frank can get a shot in the booth here, see how good that camera is. I mean, I, I don't agree with you on your snack of choice tonight. I know you don't. <laughs> Me and Sarah back here, I've just been, let's see what we got. Dip, some pretzels, and so, peanut butter. So I got two bags It'll of gummies. It'll keep you full the rest of the night, this gummy we're just, guy we're just share, Yeah, we just share these gummies the whole time. It was Sarah, our stage manager. Not opposed to some beef jerky in this booth either, though. top of the zone. That's a cool view. I like that view of all the, the cameras because you can, you can still see the format. main stuff, but you can, yeah, get to see what's going on, what they're trying to replay. So a lot of different, you got the scoreboard up top, you got Alyssa's kind of chart. Format there. There you go. That's how she tells Here's us what's next one. and keeps everybody in line, yeah. keeps everybody organized. That was our open tonight. The open format that oh, you, you know saw what? when we came on the air. Pitching change, guys. We got to go to break. 
All right, thank you, Alyssa. Thank Great you. job tonight. And we've got another Going pitching change. We've had Five, plenty of those on this behind-the-scenes broadcast three, here from Bluebell Park. Two, one, and take us. Again, announcers and cameras are here at Bluebell Park tonight, but we're going behind the scenes most often to Kyle Field, where 12th Band Productions is located. How about a little bit of technical directing? That was Jaden that you saw there. Technical directing is how everything you see on your TV gets onto the screen. The TD waits for the director's cues before hitting a button that makes either a camera or a replay or a score bug or graphic go live. It's one of the hardest positions we have at 12th Band Productions. Requires a lot of technical knowledge and training. As Logan Letney leads off. Usually one of our more veteran students are assigned to this position. And Jaden, our TD tonight, he will get to 12th Man Productions early. He makes sure his board is set up with cameras, replay wipes, transitions, and graphics. He'll also lead our technical facts, which makes sure all the cameras are working properly, uh, properly hours and hours before the broadcast. Look at that board. It looks like you can launch a shuttle from it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> crazy back there. I was asking our one of our producers, Justin Argo, I was like, hey, like, are these everywhere? Does every university have this kind of stuff? Like, this is incredible. And, uh, you know, he's saying there's only a, you know, a handful in the country that are as sophisticated as this, but there's like five or six rooms, like separate rooms that almost look like that right there. You know, one for the scoreboard. Um, and you know, more than that, just every time, every turn, corner I turned, I was like, yeah, here's another one. Here's another one. It's very impressive. That's one of the things you'd have to understand about 12th Man Productions. As Boomer told you, multiple control rooms that j look just like the one you're seeing tonight. If you think of any given spring weekend, you could have a baseball game going on here at Bluebell Park and then just up the road, a softball game at Davis Diamond. Well, that would require oftentimes one control room for the baseball broadcast, one control room for the baseball video board. Another control room for the softball broadcast. Another control room for the softball video board. So, really, it's this time of year where you get high occupancy in all of those control rooms at 12th Man Productions at Kyle Field as Reed Chumley. Singles to left, and the Huskies have a couple aboard. First question of the evening comes from Corey Kerr, and he wants to know how many cameras do you all have at a baseball game. Well, around Bluebell Park, we have five manned cameras. Our operators today, there's Brock on cam one, Zach, cam two, Connor was cam three, Frank is on cam four, and Cassie on cam five. Using Grass Valley cameras with Canon lenses. And you'd be surprised at what some of these can do at Kyle Field. <laughs> 